Right, so Nick, um, a massive period now. It must be exciting to go into the business end of the season with everything to play for. Yeah, it is. We put ourselves in a good position. Still challenging for the top four, and we've got a couple of home games now that if we put in good performances, get the results that we need, then we'll be, we should be in that top four and hopefully stay there. After a fortnight off, um, is there an added intensity throughout the squad uh, to get back to that sharpness? Yeah, I think there is. Um, we've had a tough few days training. Again, it wasn't. Well, it was a fortnight with no games. It was only a week off, and then we had a whole week, almost like a mini pre-season last week. So yeah, the boys are in good spirits, and also you know, it's been a good rest from the things that really you, know, you struggle with during the season, such as knocks. And the boys have recovered from them and should be raring to go. And obviously, there must be a lot of excitement in the squad to get back to King's Own for three games in a row now. Yeah, you can't knock that, can you? You've got you know, two home Premiership games and, and the European quarter-final. So. We've been away from King's Zone for a bit. It's nice to get back and yeah, hopefully put in the performance that, that's required. Obviously, the, the players that have been away on Six Nations due to your back, has that given a boost? It has, yeah. But it's quite nice to see quite a few numbers uh, up on our feet for training. It's been a while since we've had sort of 40 people training. So, yeah, so that certainly adds to the intensity of the sessions. Um, on a personal level, um, how's the testimonial year going? What's next on the agenda? Uh, it's going very well. Um, there's a, a ladies' night that um, Alex's committee and my committee have organised on April the 17th, so we're hoping to sell a few tickets from that and it should be a good night.